Good morning everyone, follow me on this day as I study for an exam I have for my GP training. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Esgi and I'm a junior doctor working in North London. I'm currently on maternity leave and due to go back to work in six weeks. I come downstairs before Ella and Sadal wake up to get a head start in the day. First things first, I always have a large glass of water. When we're sleeping, we enter a state of dehydration and it's really important to hydrate yourself first thing when you wake up. I then put the kettle on to make myself a hot cup of herbal tea to drink. I start my morning by getting some fresh air in the garden, even if it's a cold day. Excuse my face here, there was a duck on my fence staring at me and it took me by surprise. Anyways, what was I saying? I take five to 10 minutes for myself, practicing mindfulness and gathering my thoughts on what I want to get done for the day. This moment of calm is really important as the rest of the day is usually go, go, go. And being able to focus on myself is invaluable. As I was saying earlier, I have an exam coming up in October that is usually sat in your second year of GP training. You might be thinking why I've started to revise so early. Well, the exam is quite knowledge heavy and so I need to start revising early to ensure I can cover everything around childcare and work. Okay, this part is going to seem a little backwards to you, but hear me out and let me explain what I do to start off my day revising. I'm preparing for this exam with one of my close friends and here I am FaceTiming her to do some revision together. She's also on maternity leave at the moment and is sitting the exam at the same time. The day before, we agreed on topics to revise and prepare for this session. Then early in the morning, whilst both our little ones are sleeping, we video call each other and test each other on the topics and give feedback on our recall. This really helps us consolidate the knowledge and talking through out loud really helps us remember the fine details that we need to know for this exam. For anyone who's revising for an exam right now, I'd really advise you to have an exam buddy to not only revise with, but also to make sure that you're on track and don't fall behind schedule. Right, after that session, I head upstairs for a quick shower. I then give my hair a quick dry using my Dyson Air app and make my way downstairs with Ella. We have a little walkabout with her. She's very curious these days and wants to walk around and touch everything. After this, it's time for her breakfast. This morning, she's having some multi-grain cereal with chopped fruits. She's become such a cheeky little girl. <laughs> she's trying to grab the spoon and make a joke out of my struggle. After breakfast, we settle down for some playtime with her. She's usually not actually interested in toys and wants me to read a book to her. I'm just hoping that it stays this way as she gets older. After her play session, Ella is ready for her first nap of the day. This nap is only 30 minutes, so I use this time to plan what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. But before that, I give the kitchen a quick tidy by putting the dishes in a dishwasher and wiping down the surfaces. As I was saying, I use Ella's first nap to plan the day, and this is how I do it. I go through my GP training curriculum and shortlist the topics that I want to cover. Then, with my study buddy, we agree to cover cardiology. I then open up all the resources that I'll be using to revise. For today's session, that means going through the CKS guidelines and question banks, such as past medicine. I then read through my emails and reply to as many as I can. These include work emails, and yes, believe it or not, I still have to keep on top of my emails on maternity leave. I then create a to-do list for the day for all the non-revision tasks I want to get done. The whole point of this first session 
is to ensure that there are no distractions when I start my revision in the afternoon. I don't know about you, but I have a massive tendency to go off on tangents. One minute I'll be checking my emails, then I'll remember something I was looking to buy, then I find myself scrolling on some random website for ages. So by doing this and getting rid of these distractions early in the day has massively boosted my productivity. Before I know it, Ella is awake and it's time for us all to have breakfast together. Today was my diet day as part of my alternative day fasting, which you may have seen as part of my weight loss journey. So I'm having a bowl of yogurt. After lots of play, reading and FaceTiming every single family member on earth, Ella has gone down for her afternoon nap. She often naps for about two hours and this is when I get the bulk of my revision done. Having completed all my tasks that I would do on my laptop earlier in the day, I can focus on reading my material and hopefully won't procrastinate. I open my revision tools and start reading the material. I've stopped making extensive notes as it's time consuming and I've noticed that it doesn't really enhance my recall for the topic that I'm going over. Instead, I'll have a notebook with me to write down the most important points and facts and figures that I must remember, essentially creating a cheat sheet for myself. I take a break about 45 minutes into my revision session. This is usually the longest I can focus before taking a break. Before, I would try and watch something online and browse my social media, but it never really felt like a break as it was just more screen time. So now, as I did before, I try and make an effort to go outdoors, feel the breeze on my face and appreciate the silence and take a moment to calm my mind. After my little break, I head back over to my desk, dining table, dumping ground for everything in the house, whatever you want to call it, and sit down to finish my cheat sheet. Once I've done this, I go over the points and briefly test myself on them by trying to remember them off my heart and really consolidate what I've learned in the past two hours. The whole point of this is to move the revised information from your short-term memory into your long-term memory. Once you've been able to do that, you have to maintain it there. This is often done by repetition, and unfortunately, I'm someone who needs a lot of repetition to keep things in my long-term memory. I've always been so envious of those who can read a text once and remember it for ages, but that's a topic for a whole other video. So Dal finishes work at 4 as he starts super early in the day. So once Ella is awake, we can take the opportunity to go for a walk and wind down. Before we head off outside, I give her a quick feed and off we go. We get home and sit down for dinner and have a chat about what we did and update each other on the day. Ella actually joins in our conversation, believe it or not. She has a lot to say about the birds she saw in the garden and the mischief that she got up to in the day. It hits 7pm and it's time for Ella to go down for bedtime. She has a little sing along with us and a bottle of milk before dozing off for the evening. And so here I am, as the day draws to an end, sitting at my multifunctional table one last time. I get through past medicine, which is the question bank that I'm using, that has a section on the exam that I'm going to be sitting. I answer the questions on the topic that I covered that day and look to see if there are any gaps in my knowledge. Doing revision in this cycle will really help you keep all the facts in your long-term memory as you read the knowledge, write the knowledge, in addition to talking about it out loud and finally testing yourself on it. And that's me done for the day. It's been a busy one.
Let's not forget how important it is to switch off, walk away from your desk and do something you enjoy. And tonight, for us, that means watching TV. That's the end of the day, guys. Don't leave without giving me a thumbs up because it really helps my channel. And subscribe if you haven't already joined my lovely bunch of viewers. Drop a comment if you're new and I'd love to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.